Constraint is the mother of all invention. And Asia, right now, is just that. So what's going on right now in the payments world in Asia is that the traditional payment methods that we here in Australia are so familiar with, and the world is so familiar with, uh, particularly in the traditional markets of North America and Europe, have grown up with card schemes that were you know, born in the 1960s and 70s and have evolved today in, in you know, some of the fam very familiar brands we, we're familiar with today. But Asia itself is a, a, is a myriad of new and emerging and alternate payment systems. So, for example, in China, you've got, you know, 90% of all e-commerce payments are local payment platforms. You know, you've got uh, Alipay, you've got TenPay, you've got UnionPay through the UPOP model. Uh, you've seen the evolution of uh, public transport platforms like Octopus in, uh, in Hong Kong. You've got Nets evolving in uh, Singapore. And in, in uh, Thailand, you've got some 27 unique debit card systems which are being on, on, used online today. Take China, for example. Over 90% of all e-commerce payments are non-Visa MasterCard, and I'm being conservative in that comment. If you take Thailand, you know, something more than 80% of all Thai payments are non-Visa MasterCard via e-commerce. How do you talk to not only the Australians, the Europeans and North Americans who have been your traditional markets and booking online for you know, 10, 15 years now, but how do you also talk now to uh, Mr and Mrs uh, uh, Average in Bangkok? Um, you know, and that's now about ensuring that you've got all their local payment systems certified uh, on their platform. So let's take, for example, uh, a situation in Indonesia. You've got the well-regarded, well-known uh, resort island of Bali. It's been catering to the Australian and New Zealand market for years. You know, the Europeans and North Americans have been flying down for their, uh, you know, uh, annual flutter and weekend or, you know, week or so away. But increasingly so in Indonesia now, we've got Mr and Mrs emerging and, and uh, average middle class wanting to also enjoy the virtues of uh, weekend in Bali. I was there last year and I was absolutely astounded at the, uh, at the evolution in payments and a lot of the traditional players still being unable to uh, talk to this new and emerging market with Inside Asia itself. So, you know, I was confronted with uh, restaurants and hotels with 15 FPOS machines, uh, or, you know, terminals, uh, F, you know, card terminals catering for all the different banks within the region. Uh, I was confronted with uh, Australians having to pay cross-border fees and hotels, Western hotels, still only offering Visa and MasterCard. So Constraint is the mother of all invention and the way the uh, payment system in Asia has evolved, they haven't evolved with, the, with our local Visa and MasterCard platforms. They've evolved with their own country-by-country -country platform. So what we've had to do is we have had to integrate their payment platforms to ours to ultimately bring the whole payment systems into the 21st century.